The little ball that looks a bit like a ping pong ball in the kit is called a cosmic ball. And inside, there are two batteries that are separated by a piece of plastic. You're going to remove that plastic, and that now means the batteries are in contact. And on the outside, there are two metal electrodes. If you touch the electrodes, we complete a circuit and we're going to get it to give us a nice disco sound and disco light. In the show, as the chief wizard, I'm going to get you to make this look as though it's magical. So you're going to hold it. So one thumb is touching the electrode and the other finger can touch but they're not going to be able to see those electrodes to begin with. So when we click a finger, we can start it, and we can click a finger and we can stop. Click start, click stop. Children clap their hands, start. Children clap their hands again, stop. And again, if we go back in time, even this little gadget, if you use this 300 years ago, my goodness, what an amazing wizard you would be. You'd most probably scare everybody and they'd jump under the blankets. <laughs> Your children are already standing in a circle. So what you're going to do now is they're all going to hold hands. They're going to form the wires. Some of them may decide to put their sleeves over their hands because <laughs> they don't want to touch anybody. Be prepared by having some metal spoons so that they can hold the spoon instead of each other's hands. And then you're going to be holding this with your thumb on there and the child next to you is going to put a pointy finger on there and then they start the circuit and stop the circuit. So they will become the switch. It's a nice safe little way for us to talk about electricity and electrical circuits. The cosmic ball can be a really fun way for us to explore materials that conduct electricity conductors and materials that don't which are called insulators. I've got two wires here and what I've done is I have taken a little bit of the plastic wiring away from the ends and using some tape I'm going to tape one of these onto one electrode and I'm going to tape the other one onto the second electrode. There's our wires attached to the electrodes. If I now hold that piece there and that piece there, this is evidence that I conduct electricity. If I now attach the wire to some plastic, it doesn't light up, plastic is an insulator. What about Play-Doh? Play-Doh contains salt. And the reason humans conduct electricity is we're very salty. Oops. So if I roll this out, it looks like a wire, big thick wire. There we go. And if I put one of the wires in there and I put the other wire, da da, Play Doh conducts. Switch off, switch on. Enjoy!